Good morning, you guys. I just got some news and I'm so excited. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. So if you've been here for a while, you may know I've been working on my credit for the last two years, trying really hard to get it where it needs to be so that I can qualify for financing for a home. And I was at the bank earlier this week depositing a check and the teller asked me if I would like to apply for an upgrade. So I had a secured uh, credit card through my bank. I got that to help me start building my credit back up. I was really excited when they asked me if I wanted to apply, but I wasn't sure I would get it. At first I thought that she was asking because she saw that I qualified, but later realized they were asking everyone. <laughs> So that kind of put a damper on, on my spirits when I realized it's just something that they're doing. But I received an email this morning that I was approved, which is awesome. That's going to do wonders for my credit score and all of that. So long as I keep doing what I've been doing. And I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's a step in the right direction. And uh, things are looking up. So I just wanted to tell you that real quick because I'm, I'm, like I said, I was really excited. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys. I think uh, once I get off of work, I'm sitting outside of work right now. Once I get off of work, I'll go home and I'll add to this video my um, recap for my 2022 goals. And we'll see how far we made it on all of those. And all of this goes hand, hand in hand. So I will see you after work. You guys, it's it's probably been a week since I started this video and told you guys how I've just been approved for a new line of credit. And I was so excited. Now I'm having some complications sort of I've got it's anyway I don't want to get into all that but I told you I would tack on my uh, goals for 2022 end of the year thing to see if I had met the goals and I sat down for like 20 minutes before this video to get myself together to pull my thoughts together so that I can make cohesive statements and it's still not working I'm so sorry so I went back over my, the video I made at the beginning of this year with my 2022 goals so that I could remember what they were. I mean, I remembered, but roughly, um, I remember my savings goal and like relationship goals and things like that. But anyway, so I'm getting off topic. I'm not good at this. It's supposed to be a structured video, Christy. Let's do this. Come on. Looking back at the video, I now have the list of my goals and the sub goals within them. Uh, and, and we can go back through them and see if we met them. So my first goal for 2022 was to, it had to do with my credit. Number one goal, my credit, working on my credit. The first like sub goal, you know, little dash thing under there was to get my credit score over 600, stably over 600 because at the beginning of last year I had reached 600 but it kept dropping back down it wasn't stable over 600 well I am happy to tell you that I reached that goal in 2022 so my stable number it's fluctuating between 650 and 670 something it was at my, the highest I saw my credit score was 676 and then I had a hard inquiry from my bank when I applied for that um, upgrade to my secured card and that dropped it down to 656 but it hasn't gone below 650 in several months so that's with like the trans union trans union my Equifax is hovering between 619 right now and 635 I believe I don't know what the other one is I haven't checked it I forgot my login for it but they're all over 600 which was my goal so yay along with that I wanted to open up three new lines of credit I didn't do that uh, I had applied for Badcock which I mentioned in that video before I was gonna try to get a revolving line of credit with them I had applied online they told me I needed to come into the store to do that I never went up there so I never got that line of credit but I'm pretty sure they would they would approve me. Second sub goal under that was to get an unsecured card. Yes, credit card through my bank. And I did that. Um, 
So my secured card, I loaded the 375 on. Anytime I used money on it, I paid it back to myself. I just recently was approved for a thousand dollar credit limit. And um, the complications I was talking about is in my mobile banking app, it's showing my original card, my secured card, and then it's showing a platinum card, two different card numbers, but both with thousand dollar thousand dollar lines of credit so I thought maybe I got two maybe I got an upgrade and then one except for I've only been using my secured card and I'm, I have a balance on my platinum that is not the same as the balance on my secured so I need to call the bank and find out what's up with that but I'm at that goal that is all of my goals for my credit I met I met two of them and I, I did not meet two of them. So 50, 50, you know, it's pretty good. I'm still working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm doing good. Well, number two was to have my, okay. There was two like, okay. Okay. Goal number two was to have $500 in savings by the end of 2022 with a lofty goal of having a thousand dollars in savings by the end of 2022. And I am really surprised myself to know that I not only met, but exceeded both of those goals. <laughs> like, I don't even know how this happened. Actually, I do. So I had three jars. Anytime I had cash and I got changed back, if I got ones, it went in the ones jar. If I got fives, it went in the fives jar. Anytime I got tips, it went in the tips jar. In cash, I was able to save $431. So I didn't need to go any further, really. I needed, what, 20? I don't know, I needed 69 more dollars than I would have met my goal. But I did go further because I was doing some side hustles. I was selling some things. Um, I was making some money from YouTube. It's it's not a lot of money from YouTube. I'm still, still not able to quit my day job and be a YouTuber full time. Between the cash savings and selling stuff, my plant cuttings I made money on, my Macari I started reselling on again. Um, between that and my the money that I do earn from YouTube, my total for savings for 2022 was $1,205. I'll go ahead and pat myself on the back. I didn't think that I had even made it over 500. So to see that I have 1,200 in savings plus a thousand to two thousand in credit as soon as I figure out what the heck is going on there I'm doing pretty good it's pretty cool goal number three had to do with my YouTube channel I had two goals I met one did not meet the other the first goal was to finally surpass 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and next year 2024 will be 10 years since I have been on YouTube and I still have not made it to 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> I, uh, as of this recording, I am at 9,357. That's not, I don't think that's changed all year. To be honest with you, it'll go up a little bit and it'll drop back down. Um, my views on this channel have not been great either. I kind of feel like it's a dead channel, but I refuse to give it up because I love it so much. I love talking to you guys. I love sharing my entire lives with you guys, even though people keep telling me that I have to narrow it down to a niche and I have to do this and I have to do that. If you want your channel to grow, you have to do this. And I just, this channel is for me. It's for me and it's for you because you guys are here, you hang out with me and that's why I keep doing this. I'm not going to do it. This is my, this is, this is my space. But I did second goal for the channel was to, um, kind of split off and have multiple channels. I talked about that in the video for the goals last year, how I wanted to have a goal, uh, a channel for my mushroom hunting, my plant stuff, my reselling, all that. I didn't get all of those up, but I did get another channel for my, my, plant stuff up because that's what I've been doing all year is buying and propagating and selling plants. So I felt like that was the most important. There's a lot of plant lovers out there too. So I thought 
it'd be beneficial for me to start that channel. So I do have that channel up and running. It's called The Plant Room. I'll be sure to link it down below along with my 2022 goals from last year if you want to watch that. My fourth goal for last year was to turn this shed into an indoor jungle. My goals for that kind of shifted throughout the year. Uh, I kind of lost the motivation, got overwhelmed, tore the whole thing apart. I did end up getting the couch in there that I was talking about and it started to look nice and then things just went downhill and everybody went outside and I've been rebuilding. It's never going to look like an indoor jungle here. Like a lot of my plants are really struggling right now, <laughs> to be honest. But I, I realized in order to have an indoor jungle, you can't have just a bunch of potted plants sitting around. You have to find a way to like build big planters and like have them growing out of that. So it's not just different colored sizes, pots and jars and stuff like that. So this is really turned into more of a propagation room. So I'm okay with not meeting that goal. Something that goes along with that is that my boyfriend's supposed to be building me a greenhouse, so that could look more like a jungle. We'll see. My last goal for 2022 had to do with my relationships. This met with my friends, my, excuse me, my family, my partner, and also with Jesus, with God. I wanted to work on all of those relationships and I made sure that I was reaching out to my family more often being the one to say, hey, how you been first? Okay, I don't know where I just left off. My phone cut off again. Um, but yes, I had made it a point to be the first one to reach out, to reach out more frequently to my friends and family. I did lose a friendship during this year, um, but I'm okay with that. So my relationship with my family, my kids, uh, my partner, I had, I worked really hard on all of that. I also worked on building relationships with people outside of my inner circle and worked on my social socializing. I have, I have social anxiety. It's, it's something I've struggled with my whole life. And I tried really hard this year to step outside of that. I failed in some ways, but I flourished in some ways. I did <clears throat> have days where I didn't feel nervous and anxious and shy being around people. And I even stood up and talked in front of people. Like, um, yeah, it's hard to say whether I met that goal or not, like on paper, but I feel like I did. I feel like I, I experienced some, some growth in that area. And that's all I really wanted to do. And with my relationship with Jesus Christ and that, um, yeah, I could have done better, but I did better this year than I did last year. I've got my prayer journals going. Um, I make sure I talk to him at least once a day, even if it's not, you know, actually praying. I try to imagine that he's here with me. He's a friend and I just like to talk to him whenever I'm going through things. You know, anything good happens, I think, and I praise him. Anything bad happens, I think, and I praise him. Um, still got a long way to go with that. I'm not reading my Bible as much as I would like to, but like I said, I'm doing better this year than I did last year. Sorry. Did better last year than the year before that. That, that would be more correct. So yeah, overall, I think that, I think I did a really good job in, in reaching the goals, even if I didn't. I didn't give up. That's the whole point. I didn't give up. I kept pushing forward. I did reach many of my goals and the ones I didn't reach, that's okay. There's always this year. So I will be putting out another video with my 2023 goals. I know it's kind of late and New Year's resolutions are over and all that stuff, but I still want to make it for me to look back on and for those of you who actually enjoy seeing what my goals are. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. My boyfriend just got home. I'm going to go spend some time with him. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in the next one.